Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Hello, ladies and germs. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilton Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. I did it. What'd you do? I finished the bathroom. <laughs> it's done. I think I mentioned it in the last episode or maybe two episodes ago, you, you but got, it's yeah. it's done. I saw it. The deed is done. It looks... I give it a C plus. Thank you. Uh, I'll take it. In that when you see it, you want to you wanna plus... You want to plus one it on Google. Exactly. Plus. Right. That's because it's because it's an A plus bathroom. Uh, yeah. So if you want to add my bathroom to uh, your circle <laughs> on Google Plus, <laughs> God. What's your favorite discontinued Google product? Wave. I was gonna say fucking Wave. <laughs> I feel like Wave came and it was like, oh, this is it. This is gonna be the big thing. And then it was just like, no one knew how to use it or like what it was for. I remember like when it came out, some friends and I like made a Wave together, and we were like, totally. this is great. Yeah. Well, I mean, Never they just incorporated the, the technology into all their other documents. Like, yep, yep. Collaborative, like, mm-hmm. doing shit together, I think is what they call it. Yep. Yeah, Wave is my favorite, too. Yeah. It makes me mad that we we were just at a party, and someone said so- something about, like, what font should this be in, or something. And at the same right. time, we both said Joker Man. Because, well, Joker Man's... It's objectively the funniest <laughs> font. <laughs> But I, it, it, it makes me mad that... That no one else in the world would have done that. Yeah, and that, like, we've never... You and I have never had an original thought because the other one has already had it. Yeah, it's pretty messed up, right? It's like nothing that either of us thinks is worth saying out loud. Because we already know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's yeah, it's just... It's, it's burdensome for others. Mm, yeah. You know, I feel especially bad for Jessica. She was, she was, she was sitting, sitting between, between us. us. <laughs> And I, I'm pretty sure she went, oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's pretty bad. But luckily, you left the party pretty soon, so I could sit there and keep, keep riffing off. on Joker, man. <laughs> yeah, keep yeah, spouting out jokes like they were my own original thoughts. <sighs> Joker, man, is fucking funny, though. It's really funny. Well, I mean, what are you going to say? Like, fucking Comic Sans? Like that's played hack? out. That's played out. It's been played out. Papyrus? No. Chiller's pretty good. Well, Chiller's just like it's solid, a solid font. font. <laughs> <laughs> I, I type all my work documents in Chiller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my teachers like require me to write uh, double space Chiller font, <laughs> twelve point. <laughs> when you get out there in the professional world, That's right? Mm-hmm. They're gonna want everything in Chiller. Yeah, so just get used to it now. Just like how we uh, we all use cursive. Right. It's. Cursive is the chiller of... Have you ever written cursive in your adult life? Ever, ever, ever? Dude, I was playing a game the other day where it required everyone to like write down little phrases uh, for each round. And we were playing with a friend of the network, James Freetley. Uh, he wrote in cursive? He wrote in cursive. He fucking would. I know of he would. Everyone I know, of course, <laughs> of course he would. He's the true pits. And he wrote it down and I was like, what the fuck does that even say? Like, to out loud, I was like, what does that say? I had to pick it up and like hold it in front of my face. It was impossible to read. So anyway, the answer is no. I've never no. Why? Uh, maybe I've done it like once for a party trick. Isn't it? You know, like I know Z, <laughs> <laughs> J, capital J. No. How do you do a capital J? Don't, is it just no one a, knows. Every single teacher teaches a different. My name starts with a capital J, <laughs> and I don't fucking know it. You should know. Yeah. It's do other um. Countries or whatever. Yeah. That's a great question. Like, if I go to France and just start writing French and cursive, are they going to be like, what the fuck is this? They'll say in English, what the fuck is this? Because <laughs> you, you frazzle them so thoroughly. Do do they have... Yeah, I don't know. That's a great question. And 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 further, uh-huh. do other like alpha... You know, right. we, we, we all use sort of a, same, a similar alphabet. Do J- other alphabets... Japanese at least has like more of a calligraphy thing. There's like a calligraphy and like a print. Okay. So, like, when when you're learning the letters, a lot of times they'll look like the calligraphy style. But then when you write them, you write them totally different. So, it's, like, it's confusing if you don't understand the... Like, What's the diff... What, can you uh, describe the difference? It'll be a lot more flowy in between, like, Pete's. So like, let's say a character you're looking at in a book mm-hmm. would be, like, two distinct parts. Mm-hmm. In calligraphy, the parts would be connected by, like, a thin line. Interesting. As if you hadn't lifted your brush up mm-hmm. fully from the page. That's fun. Yeah, and once you know the difference, it's 
like you don't even notice it, mm-hmm. but yeah, there is something like that. I know in Star Wars, there is uh, the written word Arabesh, mm-hmm. which is the goofy Star Wars language, mm-hmm. and then there is the letters that you and I know, and that is, uh, I believe, called High Galactic. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, and it's the it's the same words. It's just like a different script, okay. and it's sort of I I believe um, uh, more maybe a uh, political royal business way mm. to write, sure. and arabesh is sort of the common way to write. Interesting. Yeah, it's like a high speech and a low speech or something. Yeah, <sighs> which does make sense why they're called like X wings and not. Oh um, wow, I didn't even think about that. Whatever. I don't know what X is in arabesh. Sure, chi wings. Oh, fuck It doesn't matter But I'd love to, to So is it a one to one Like there's 26 Arabesh letters And 26 There might actually be A couple more Arabesh okay, letters good. But it, it is more or less One to one It's just like a Yes yeah, Shitty cipher mm-hmm. Okay Just like the Matrix Shitty cipher <sighs> Shitty cipher Damn you shitty cipher <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things That I've ever seen Ever That I can't find now mm. There's a the Matrix sub- too. There's a, yeah, <laughs> can't find the dang thing. Hmm. There's a subreddit called. All I can find is the the last flight of the Nebuchadnezzar. No, the last flight of the Osiris. <laughs> I don't even know the uh, like animated Animatrix. short that appeared before uh, Toy Story Three. Dreamcatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Dreamcatcher. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? You're saying something about the Nebuchadnezzar. Shit. What were you saying, man? Good Christ. <laughs> I can't even. We've gone too far. We've passed the checkpoint where I've. <laughs> this is truly amazing. It's incredible. I don't even know what I was talking about. We were talking about Star Wars words. Oh, the damn you cipher I said. Oh, you're it trying is... to find something. You probably know what it is. <laughs> there's a there's a subreddit called Shitty Reaction GIFs. Yeah, it's good. And the, the best one that I ever saw. <laughs> Go ahead. Was the, the title of the post was uh, when someone asks me. How to make a shitty reaction gif, and then it was a still image <laughs> of, of uh, um, Switch. Switch saying, "Not no words, just Switch." Just in her the, face in the scene where she says, "Not like this." Right. It's you have to know like five things to to consider that to be. And I, I cannot find that picture or the, or that post rather. I I'll, cannot I'll, find. I'll that see post. if I can do a rescue mission and find it for you. Because it's it's truly tr- yes, so good. Like nothing will ever be that funny on the internet. For a long time To me Imagine Distracted boyfriend mm. The 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 Girlfriend Is all other memes <laughs> The other Woman Is this One This specific. one post <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta put it in terms That you can understand Yeah I do understand that now You meme Man, heads I, I was t- <laughs> We got a lot of meme heads On the call today <laughs> I was talking to uh, uh, network friend Liz Anderson yesterday. Okay, quit quit name drop. And I uh, just can't help it. And she described something. She described someone as being two memes away from being <sighs> nationally famous. And without even blinking, I was like, "Yeah, I understand exactly what you mean." <sighs> who was it? Uh, she, it was she was referring to a, a wrestler in the uh, WWE right now named Becky Lynch, who's starting to get real hot right now. Mm-hmm. She's probably the best thing going right now in WWE. Okay. Two and, memes away. And she's maybe two memes away from like John Cena level. Damn. Is what is what Liz said. And I was like, you know what? She's exactly right. <laughs> Even I don't get that. And yeah. I, and rich uh, was a uh, friend of the network. Rich was oh, in the room with us and he, he got furious <laughs> at her phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because he's not a hip teen like us. That's what he said. He said, as a 32 year old man, I cannot allow this <laughs> in my home. That, yeah, exactly. You want an article? I'd rather talk about memes, but I can, I can deal with an article. A and the got a couple choices. Well, you've got the opposite of a meme, although this is a pretty good picture. The opposite of a meme. Freightliner? Just a solid. Juan Larea. Okay. Politician. I was going to say like a mayor or <clears> something, yeah. June 24th, 1782 to June 20th. Spooky. 1847. <laughs> Wait, what? Same month. Oh, well. You know, it's a, I, you, I'm sure you've heard the thing where it's like, you know, at once a year you... Uh, mm. You act, you don't know it, but you pass the anniversary of your death. Yep. It's I fucked up. I love it. I hope it's my birthday. Yeah, I, hope like... it, I hope it was my 30th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, was a Spanish businessman and politician in Buenos Aires during the early 19th century. He headed a military unit during the second British invasion of the Ria de la Plata and worked at the Buenos Aires uh, Cabildo. He took part in the ill-fated mutiny at Alzaega. Okay. Uh, Lorea and Domingo Mat. Two were the only two Spanish-born members of the Primera Junta, the first national government of Argentina. Thank you for answering the question I hadn't asked yet. Where is Buenos Aires? <laughs> uh, he supported the secretary Mariano Moreno within the junta and was moved to the distant city of San Juan, where the I this is this is so. Um, I want to know about the ill-fated fucking gunpowder plot or whatever it was. We never will. This Damn is it. this is so far removed from. We did you learn like any South American history in school ever at all? Uh, well, it's hard to say because I played a lot of Age of Empires, <laughs> which did teach me quite a bit about the Mayan and Aztec cultures. The problem was though that I don't know which is which, and they're both commingled together because I learned about them both through a video game. Uh, yeah. I had the same problem with the Huns and the Mongols. I don't know which is which, and they fought each other, huh? Maybe. Didn't I, I really don't know. I'm not even sure if they're part from the same country or from the same like region or not. I have no idea. Or the same time period. Yeah. I don't know. Fuck. I know Attila was a Hun. Oh, certainly. And, but I don't know that the Mong did the Mongols have Genghis Khan? Who who built the wall and why? That one of the someone built a wall to keep one of those people out. China built a wall to keep the Mongols out, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I know that because of South Park. Damn. So my the school failed me, but luckily pop culture pop culture was there to lift me right back up. Probably. I well, I believe the Aztecs and the Mayans were North America. Now that Shit. I think about it, no, I think one of them was in the Yucatan Peninsula. Well, so that would be North America. Yep, you're right. It's Mexico again. Are they both in Mexico? Maybe they are because Incans maybe were in South America. Oh fuck! I don't know. I know Cortez was up in the joint trying to. She, man, this this like genuinely makes me so fucking mad that that we will never know all of this. Yeah, I mean, and I could look it up now and be like, oh, this is where all these people were from. Right, but right. there's still like just so fucking much. It's all just yeah, it's all just like muddled together. Mm -hmm. Like I could name you maybe like five Spanish like explorers and feel pretty good about naming them. But we did. Can say when they did stuff or who they were. Or... There was a a real focus on explorers. Yeah, in like seventh or eighth grade for me. It, it was like I feel like every year we were like, okay, now we're gonna learn about the explorers, yeah. which is like so fucked up. It totally is. Yeah. <sighs> I hope they don't do that anymore. They, you know, they do. Fuck. You know, every kid is like, is it because we're from Florida? Vespucci. You know, maybe because of Juan Don, Ponce de Leon. Don Juan Ponce de Leon. Don Juan. Um, it, it might be. Because that's a pretty big part of Florida's deal. Like we're, you know, Spanish uh, things. Yeah. We're Spanish things. Um, In St. Augustine is the Fountain of Youth. Right. We all know that. And, and it's the oldest like city the, in the or the oldest like i think it's one of the yeah it's they certainly got the oldest wooden schoolhouse i know that right and they have uh castilla de san marco which Ooh. is very cool mm -hmm. it's made out of seashells coquina coquina um yeah yeah but but also it's yeah i mean it sucks yeah yes Big yeah time and, th and that's the <sighs> especially because like it yeah and they don't i didn't learn I didn't have the skills to realize that it was terrible until right until it was too late. Right. Essentially, you know, like yeah. So uh, and so it's like, well, why are these teachers teaching this? Like they they don't realize it either, or probably just, not. Yeah, so truly that sucks, right. It's just like go up the chain of command, and how yeah. long do we have to wait till we get to somebody who knows why we shouldn't be teaching this? Or not that you shouldn't teach it, but that you shouldn't. You should teach, teach all of you should teach all of it. Right, you shouldn't teach it in the way they were teaching. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Well, I, I feel like people are starting to pick up on the um, Columbus. Col yeah, we're not really going to celebrate Columbus so much. Too, you know, it's anymore. pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It's, a, it's a it's a baby step, but, a, but it's a step. Mm -hmm. um, I think a few, certainly cities, yeah, maybe a few states, yeah. have been like, no, this is Indigenous People's Day. That's cool. Like, yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're actually not going to do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Still have the mattress sales though. Well, I mean, you can't. <laughs> Slow and steady, buddy. <laughs> 
you can't you can't just move around mattress sales willy nilly. I mean, you set your calendar to that. There was a I listened to this podcast once. Have you ever listened to Curious City? No, it's great. Never even heard of it. It's a WBEZ podcast, okay. and people will just be like, "Why is this fucking weird thing in Chicago?" And then they'll be like, "This is why." And the, every episode's like five or ten minutes. It's great. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Um, but there was one that was like, "Why are there so many goddamn mattress stores?" <laughs> I don't remember the answer, but I remember being like, "Hmm, weird." That is. I wonder if they're all owned by the same like mattress giant. I'm Daniel Mattress. You know, and the user's like, "Well, I'll just put up like one every you know fifteen blocks." It, it was. It was something like. The mattresses are so expensive mm. that you only need to sell like one a month or something to be pro. It, it was like it was some ridiculous insane. thing where it's like you can't afford not to build a mattress store everywhere. <laughs> like you and I are losing money right now by not <laughs> opening a mattress store. <laughs> it's free money. Yeah. Also, if you buy, if you go to a mattress, how do you do? Will they deliver? How the fuck do you get a mattress home on the train? <laughs> you put it on top You stick your hand out the window <laughs> And you hold it Man Do people get Christmas trees And bring them on the train When they're buying Christmas trees Or do people not do that They must I, There's gotta be a, a healthy percentage of people Who are taking Christmas trees on the CTA I A few years we bought like a Two foot tree from Whole Foods uh-huh. And we live close enough Where it w- was not It would be stupid to do that <laughs> But did had we not lived that close, you would have strongly considered it. I would have done it. You straight up did it. Yeah. They they're they're small, you know. Well, if it's two footers, sure. Yeah. I mean, if I'm bringing a tree into my house, it's not going to be anything shorter than six foot. Well, for you got to have the high ceilings, which we do here. Uh, yeah. You and do. you got you got to not have a cat. Well, I'm oh, so far I'm two for two. Oh, and also I'm six two, so I know for a fact a tree will fit in the ceiling space I have. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> yeah. Like I'd have to be like really. Uh, when I was a kid, we had like real high cathedral ceilings sure. in our house. And there were a couple years where we were like, "Let's fucking do it." How, did you and get pretty got, crazy? Like twelve we got, foot. We got like big ass trees. Holy shit! Yeah, I, I'm down with that. I think the tallest we've ever had was probably, I mean, probably like eight foot, maybe, which is still like that's a yeah. healthy tree. It's a good ass tree. Right? It was a healthy tree. Yeah, it was. It used to be. <laughs> um. Yeah, we got we we broke down. We bought a fake tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks good though. We haven't put it up yet. This okay. will be the first year. Ooh, wow! Yeah, is it realistic looking? I th- I believe so. Okay. Um, it, it, mostly because our dumb cat it, it, is just he just eats trees. Uh, so we're hoping that. Uh, what if you got um at the same time as the tree, like a little a little patch of turf of like real. You know what I mean? Like dirt and grass. And For him shit. to just roll around in like an idiot? Yeah, or like to eat the grass from or You know, I don't know. Well, they make cat grass, which they eat for digestion? Sure. They certainly do digest it. <laughs> I know this much about how animals work. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. That's a, that's not a bad idea. Maybe you put like... Maybe, yeah, surround the, the tree with the grass like a, and then put like a train set on top of it. He loves trains. He does love trains. <laughs> yeah. I've always thought that about him. Mm-hmm. He's always wearing, he's always like wearing that little, little conductor outfit mm-hmm. going on and on about HO scale. Yeah. All the other scales. N <laughs> is maybe one of them. Sure. <laughs> um, we, did you ever have a, a train? Oh, uh, you mean a, a Christmas tree train? Yeah, absolutely. It was my, yeah, for, for, a, for a, a good number of years until my dad decided he didn't want to like schlep it about anymore. But basically he, made like a permanent one. So he took like big pieces, big sheet of, um, what do you call it? Plex, not plexi, that's insane. Plywood? Plywood, is that what I'm looking for? Um, What's the one that all those pieces are smashed together? You know what I'm talking about? Particle board? Particle board. Yeah, anyway. And so he made a big... Maybe composite? Sure. Small pieces or big pieces? Well, he, so it was just like, picture like one big piece of like maybe inch and a half thick, you know, let's say it's inch and a half thick. That's very thick. Oh, Oh yeah, this was like a permanent deal. And well, it had to be that thick because he was screwing down like, uh, you know, mountains and oh shit, you know what I'm saying like so it was not a Christmas thing. It was like no, this was a Christmas thing. So it, that's the thing. <laughs> and picture it's like maybe let's say it's eight feet wide and maybe you know four feet, five feet, you know, long the other way. Sure. Anyway, so you can picture a big rectangle thing, right? Uh, and he had cut out a piece. Well, hold on, hold on. Picture like a basketball court. Okay, but smaller. Gotcha. Okay. Now he had cut out a chunk in the middle, a circle in the middle, mm-hmm. 
and then also cut, oh. and then cut it in half. Yep. Yep. So yep. basically every year it would break apart in two big chunks. Yep. But then for Christmas, he'd put them right together around the tree. <sighs> and every year we would like add to it. And there would be like, you know, little miniature like KFC and a, like a town hall and like little people and like matchbox cars. Like he, we painted a road on it. There were parts where the road crossed the tracks, where there were proper like crossing guard deals. That's great. Did you have any other Yum brand uh, fast food restaurants? <laughs> I believe it was a uh, yeah a combination. Uh, Kentaco Bell. Yeah, it was a Kentaco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was like a full fledged like little town. And every That's year, awesome. every year we would like you know, get another house or whatever. Yeah, like, as Christmas great. was coming, we yeah we go out into the mall train store, which you know was always like down in Orlando, so you'd have to take like a trip or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty cool. When I think Christmas, I think Orlando. Yeah, I mean that's. I, what, Have you ever been to the the ice exhibit <laughs> where they explain how ice works? Yeah, no, um, no. It's like it's always in like a hotel ballroom or whatever. I've never been. Oh shit! I know but what they just about. it's like they make like a whole room out of ice or something. Like, it's like okay, this room's fucking cold. Here's your parka, and it's just like a bunch of ice sculptures. Yeah, and, stuff. and he's like walk through like this crazy display of. Yeah. Seems pretty cool. Like, I feel like even like the room is ice, and like the everything's ice. hallways of ice. Maybe I feel like it's a crazy, like way crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I've seen pictures though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've never gone either. But I have at the zoo. They do usually ice carving, which is very fun to watch. Like a guy with like a chainsaw, right? I feel yeah, like we went one wild. year and just watched it for like forty five minutes. I've done that at least two or three years. It's crazy. Yeah, like who does that? There's so many things in this world that's like, why'd you start doing this? And please never stop. Never stop. You know what I just realized? Hmm. You have a chainsaw, and it's cold here. <laughs> Uh, this is our Thanksgiving episode. Ah, shit. We're bad at, at holidays and aren't Halloween. Yeah. What do you think? Well, no, we for? were bad at Halloween too. Yeah, well, I'm thankful that Halloween is just around the corner. <laughs> I'm thankful that as soon as we are done eating that big bird, mm-hmm. up is next. <laughs> uh, it's Christmas. Ah, shit. It is Christmas. Christmas is creeping. Do people know what Christmas is? Have we talked about Christmas? We have, but you know, it, it's it, worth a refresher. It is absolutely because it's a crazy thing to say. Christmas is the Crypt Keepers uh, Yuletide holiday. The Crypt Keeper used to host a show called Tales from the Crypt. Right. Uh, I've I've seen next to nothing of Tales from the Crypt. Agreed. But for whatever reason, one of my dad's friends at work probably gave him a tape of the. <laughs> Of have yourself a, a scary little cryptmas or whatever the fuck the album's <laughs> called, and we listened to it, and I was like, "This is it for me." How old were you? Nine, eight, nine. So you got set like your whole life was done at eight. Truly, you got the cryptmas keeper the cassette crypt- tape. The, yeah, truly. And then <laughs> the I, I mean, every year I would be like. On the way to school and stuff, it's like, we got to listen. We got to listen. And you, I know my parents fucking hated it. And then at some <laughs> point, we lost the tape. Shit. And I was I was distraught. And there were maybe two years where we, we were just without it. And that was like before the internet was really a right, thing. Right. And I was like, I'm never going to hear my favorite music again. <laughs> and then one year for Christmas, my parents found the CD online no and way. bought the CD for me. Those are good parents in that particular instant. And... And then I and then I had the CD and and everything was right, and the 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 true. I think the greatest gift that anyone could get me, is that on vinyl, Fuck and it doesn't me. exist, and it never will because they're never going to reissue it, <laughs> because who the fuck is the crypt keeper, um, and and. and I think and where does he get off? I think overall Christmas music is um I don't think people are really uh uh itching for new itching for new stuff and certainly not novelty um Christmas music and certainly not um novelty no. Christmas music based on a <laughs> 1990s um horror anthology series. <laughs> yeah, I think any any parody type Christmas music that people want already exists. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Exactly. The chipmunks. That's it. Uh, yeah. Uh, is Monster Mash Christmas? I listened to it on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got real into the chipmunks last year for Christmas. The For some reason, that is really appealed to me. That's fun. You know, John Legend released a Christmas album this year, and I'm going to dip in because mm-hmm. I am a big fan of his. I, I, only, I don't know much of his stuff. 
but I know people like him. Yeah. Um, Sufjan Stevens apparently has 40,000 Christmas songs that I've never heard before. He has a lot of music, that man. Yeah, he just, he gets like, you know, I'm really into mustard this year. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a mustard album. I'm going to make one album for every condiment. Yeah. I- Psych. <laughs> Let's see you later. <laughs> Do you remember the podcast Missing Richard Simmons? I remember that it happened. I sure. listened to it. The guy is making a new podcast, and two episodes have come out so far, okay. and it's called Surviving Y2K. <laughs> okay. And so far, they've it's just much interviewed like, a bunch of weird preppers and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's very good. Wow, what a strange thing to have lived through. I, the, like, was everyone just fucking like stupid yes well also also that? like what a stupid thing i th- i think at least to a point it was a valid concern not that the world would end yeah. but like Stuff. oh this will this could be a bummer for a minute right. you know like sure this <laughs> this this could get sticky i might right you know whatever my computer calendar might <laughs> fuck up you know like it I, I, like what could have been the biggest problem you know like Bank transfers probably is the biggest thing. Sure, maybe. Yeah, like if you scheduled a transfer for like, right? But then they caught it like years, so, years in right. advance. Right? They're like, oh, we should probably fix this. So it's like not even a thing. I think it was also a time when people knew less about how computers Absolutely. were. Yeah, totally. So it was, yeah, on and, and we were just starting to rely on them for everything. You know, it was like, it was like the oh, perfect storm. Yeah, of not knowing, yeah. Like using them for everything and not knowing exactly the deal. Just, yeah, meddling in dark magic we don't know about. Oh, honestly. Yeah. We yeah, we wizard apprentice ourselves. Mhm. Sorcerer's apprentice. Wow, we don't use that term anymore, Tony. <laughs> Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.